Hibernian 1-3 Celtic, visitors cut the gap on leaders Rangers. Celtic produced a rampant first-half performance as they moved within two points of cinch premiership leaders Rangers with a 3-1 victory over Hibernian at Easter Road. Tony Ralston, Cameron Carter-Vickers and Kyogo Furuhashi all struck before the break to earn Ainge post Ikaglu's resurgence site a fifth consecutive win in all competitions. Hibs, meanwhile, were left licking their wounds after a fourth consecutive defeat. Home manager Jack Ross made four changes to the side beaten at Aberdeen last weekend as Darren McGregor, Chris Cadden, Jamie Gullen and Lewis Stevenson dropped out and were replaced by Ryan Porteous, Alex Gogic, Jamie Murphy and Josh Doig. Hibernian, Macy, McGinn, Porteous, Hanlon, Doig, Boyle, Doyle Hayes, Gogic, Campbell 46, Newell, Murphy, Wright 76, Nisbet, Gullen 76. Subs not used, Wood Gordon, Stevenson, Dabrowski, Cadden. Booked, Gogic, Porteous. Goals, Boyle 37. Celtic, Hart, Ralston, Carter Vickers, Starfelt, Juranovic, Rogic, Bitten 44, McGregor, Turnbull, Jota, Furuhashi, Abata 81, Johnston, Giacomacca 66. Subs not used, Ajeti, Bain, Montgomery, Welsh. Booked, McGregor. Goals, Ralston 10, Carter Vickers 14, Furuhashi 30. At 17,580 ref, Don Robertson, Scotland. Celtic made just one alteration from the side that beat St. Johnstone on Saturday. Mikey Johnston came in for his first start of the season, with Giorgio's Giacomacus dropping to the bench. Ralston had the first effort of the match in the fourth minute, but his low shot from 25 yards ran harmlessly wide of the Hibs goal. The right back fared better six minutes later, however, when he found space at the back post to knot in a David Turnbull free kick from six yards. Hibbs almost responded two minutes later, when Martin Boyle threaded a pass across goal for Joe Newell who was bursting in at the far post, but the midfielder's shot from close range was superbly saved by goalkeeper Joe Hart. A minute later Celtic scored from another set-piece, when Carter Vickers got in front of Porteous to stab in Turnbull's corner from 10 yards. There should have been more reason for the visitors to celebrate in the 20th minute when Johnston dummied a pass by Jota into the path of Turnbull, but the former Motherwell player blazed high and wide from a great position just inside the box. Celtic were well on top and the third goal arrived on the half hour when, after good work by Tom Rogic, the ball broke to Jota White on the right and the Portuguese squared for Kyogo to tap in from close range. Hibs were in disarray and Matt Macy had to make a brilliant save to stop Kyogo netting again after the Japanese got in behind. The hosts pulled one back against a run of play in the 36th minute when Newell's corner was knotted in, with both Boyle and Porteous claiming they had got the final touch. Celtic suffered a blow just before the break when Rogic was forced off by injury and replaced by Nur Bitten. Hibs spent much of the second half probing to try and find another goal, but the closest they came was in the 75th minute when Jamie Murphy got in behind and was denied.